Good morning, Clockhouse. Well, we are back, and what a lovely day we had yesterday. It was so lovely to see all the children eager to get into school, excited to be here, settle so quickly. It was phenomenal. And get on with their learning almost like they've never been away. They were very excited. Um, and just thank you for everything you've done at home, for every way you've supported them, for every bit of time when you've thought this is impossible, you've kept going, you've fought through, and your children did you proud yesterday, and they're a credit to you, and a credit to Clockhouse. Thank you also for following the rules. Um, it was great to see so many of you wearing masks, um, and queuing up really well and making sure you were distancing and following the rules. That really helps us um, and avoids those really awkward conversations where we have to say, can you move and such. And, you know, we don't want to have those. We want to be here to support you and be able to, to do that with you. Um, yeah, and just let's have a brilliant week. The sun's shining today and we want to have another good day. I know the staff and I can't wait for the children to come in this morning. You may have seen yesterday, we sent our letter about Opal Outdoor Play and Learning, which is something we were trialling before Christmas, and some of the classes um, had a lot to do with it. And we're going to be rolling that out to more classes so that everybody gets those different experiences at playtimes and lunchtime. So it's on uh, School Story, on Dojo, and it's on the School Facebook page. If you haven't seen it, please do take a look. Um, one thing I do want to talk to you about this morning is obviously the inevitability that sadly, and I hate to say it, bubbles could shut. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure that most of you, if not all of you out there, do not want that phone call from one of the members of the senior leadership team or that letter dropping into your dojo to say your bubble has got to shut. If you listened to Boris last night, he spoke about the fact that it is probable that more bubbles are going to shut because of the asymptomatic testing, but also because obviously we're coming back together. So that's the nature of kind of the beast, I guess. But I suppose in a positive, and I'm pretty sure you might not think this is a positive, remote learning's in place, it kicks back in, and we have to do it in order to stop the spread. So whilst I don't want to make those phone calls, I don't want to send that letter, and I know no one else, and I know the teachers are desperate not to be back teaching from home, um, it is possible that it's going to happen. I think it's important, like I've said, I won't promise you anything I can't deliver throughout this, and I want to be open and transparent. So I just felt it was important to say that. One way to avoid it as much as possible is we all do our bit and we all try and keep ourselves and each other safe because no one wants to be those in that situation. But on the positive, we do know exactly what it will look like if bubbles go home and we'll be kicking straight back into what we had before. Other than that, I just want to have a really good week at school. So, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy bringing the children to school, enjoy not having to be on Zoom or whatever time to do teaching, and let's just have a great week. It's great to see you all back, and I'll see you very soon at the gate, or one of the members of the senior leadership team will. Take care, Clockhouse, stay safe, and please remember, as much as you can, to do your bit. We're in this together.